Blossom's back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. We have returned to a series that we've not seen in a long time. That is just the Garage Showcase, okay? Garage and chill. I am here with the man, the myth, the legend. He is the owner of this garage, the Italian stallion, the Italian god, the Alfa Romeo connoisseur, Luke. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up? It's a pleasure to have you and it's a pleasure to be hosting a garage today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Go just um, enjoying the enjoying how cold it is here, but yeah. Yeah, three degrees, right? As I just searched up. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're gonna be going through your garage, as you can see. Just a couple rundown for you guys watching right now. It is thirty-five thousand trophies, uh, one hundred and ninety renowned, eighteen k, and nine hundred and nine. Oh, so, dude, you can watch one ad and get that to one thousand if you wanted to. <laughs> so obviously, Italy—that's your thing, right? That's your baby. That's your country. Yep. That's your specialist. I can see a lot of that. I love that. Everyone watching right now, pay attention to the Alfa Romeos. This man has a thing for them. Um, also, one thing I wanted to touch upon, right at the start, you had only one each of the Volkswagen Type 2s. You've been playing for a very long time, right? So, did you sell them? Yeah, I sold them as soon as I could. <laughs> right, because they're not prize cars anymore, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, I need to do that too. I think I still have like one of each, and I, I should really sell them all. It would be so evil if they gave them a special tag though, but I feel like they're one of those cars, those Type 2s. Like, even if you gave them a special tag, they would be useless because, you know, their performance is just so trash. No, the only thing they can the only thing they can beat is each other. Yeah, actually, that's right. I really like all these sort of quirky Japanese cars though. Like, what are they, K cars? Yeah, K cars. Called? I see that you have a lot of them, yeah. all the Suzuki's and Subaru's, all that kind of stuff. I mean yep. you did say that just... common is your favorite rarity, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty rare. We don't see a lot of those common. Um... There's so much like diversity in that in them. What kind of diversity? Because there's not a lot of four wheel drive off road. I know that for sure. Oh, I mean in like just oh. the sort of like the cards themselves. Yeah, true. They do. They do look very different. Like you got some muscle cars in here. You got K cars in here. You got whatever you want to call this small cop, whatever it is. <laughs> Dude, I think the Skyline is hot though. That is, that is a hot car. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't really need it for clubs anyway. So how often do you play clubs? Yeah. Here? Um, not a whole lot. Probably once every six weeks. Once every yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's fair. Once every six weeks, you don't need you don't need multiple of those. It's funny because I just got my second one, and I got my first one about last week. And JPT has like is what like over two months old now almost three which is yeah. crazy to think about it so it took, it took me a bit to get that um but yeah i've been playing clubs a little less I, i've been playing it more recently but i would say like last month there was a phase where i just you know i was just playing beat star that's why but that was that was yeah. <laughs> we got the smart oh here we go the opal gts we got three of them two of the max yeah. both 969 yeah yeah i don't even think that third one's locked yet do you want me to lock it for you yeah go on <laughs> go on right. a land i'm getting fused I got you, I got you. What's your favorite uncommon in here? Is there any favorites? Um... It's the beta, isn't it? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the beta. Yeah, well, I was gonna well, say <laughs> once, once we get there, we can talk about it, why that's your favorite. I'm sure you have reasons for it, like why I like the Charger. Oh, yeah. This one's horror show. Yeah, this one's horror show too. Why? Why? Okay. The beta is like one of your favorite cars of all time. How does it feel that Hutch gave it the horror show tag? Are you annoyed by that? Because I think it's a pretty good looking car. No, because it's um, it is like its entire history is just terrible. Oh, I don't know about its history. What what, what is it like? Um, well, when it um when it was released, it's like it had this. It's got a notorious problem with rusting, as a lot of Italian cars do. Oh, okay. Um. It's got some. It's got some other issues. It had issues with the brakes. Where it's basically the brakes were basically like a switch. It was either off or on. There was no sort of no sort of pet, like travel in the brakes. Um, so to combat that, they removed the brakes. They essentially, so it had no braking force at all. Pretty much, they removed the brake server. Or servo. Like, 
That's like a whole different level of like a Dodge Viper calling that a death trap. Yeah. Uh, but it's just Lancia. Bro, it's no, Lancia all day. It, it reminds me of that one Top Gear episode, I think, that they were, or was it Grand Tour? I'm not sure if it Grand Tour or Top Gear, but they, they, the three guys, they were taking out like Lancias and like seeing like which one would like not break first. Yeah. So they're just notorious like that for breaking down, is that what it is? Yeah. They could definitely just... do a, a tag like that. Like, cars and Taurus were just, like, killing people. Because they could do that. They could probably do Jags. Well, Jags don't really kill people, though. They just break down, right? That's what they're known for. Jags are... Jags are, un... yeah, they're untrustworthy. Yeah, they just break down. Or they could, you know, they could add the Vipers. But not the new ones, probably. Just the older Vipers. Like, the first gen and the second gen. Not the fifth gen. Oh, yeah. But I think they're, but they're just... there. Loved, flawed cars. I think that's the best way to describe them. Yeah. What's with all these Volks like four, two, three, four, four? Sheesh! Yeah, mo most... Yeah, it's because they're, they're all 29s. You end up fusing the ones that are lower RQ. Oh, that's fair. So, you end up, so I end up just hoarding all the higher RQ ones. It's weird because for me, it's like, I... Oh, Some yeah, of those Lancias yeah, haven't been used at all. Yeah, usually when yep. it comes to like maxing out like ultra rares for me, I don't choose like the three lowest super rares. I would take one from the low end, one from the middle, and one from the high, just to keep it consistent. I don't know why I do that, <laughs> but I do, and I just keep all the lowest. Uh, I'm working on getting every single tune. Every single one. So including like your including like your eight seven nines, your seven eight nines, and all of that. I'm working on getting them all. Oh. Oh, got you, got you. So we got what six, seven, eight, three. What's this one over here? This is a three, three, two. Okay, so pretty vanilla. I guess. Yep. It's never gonna get. It's never gonna get used. No, it's just there never ever going to get used. Yeah. Six nine nine. What's this one? Oh, six nine nine. Two six nine nines. Uh, this yeah. one then works. Six seven eight three. That looks like a three, two, two. Yep. How many of these do you have in total? Um. I think last count was 15. Sheesh! Just, yeah, you haven't fused or sold any, huh? You always keep them all. Yeah. Seriously, good looking cars, yeah. Seriously, good looking car. Look oh, they are when they're new. They're... Give, give it a year out in the open and it will look pretty, pretty bad. Did you finish the Ford challenge this week? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't need the Maya. I used my Maya a lot in the Ford challenge for some reason. That's why I was surprised. Because... I've maxed a lot of the British Fords and I got through with that. Oh, yeah. See, I have a lot of the American Fords, so I was a bit of the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the ra I don't even have the racing Puma. It's not even that bad. It's 6489 for 33 RQ is actually really good. And it's medium. Medium as well. Jeez! That carried me. That carried me. See, it's like we're, we're opposites here when it comes to Fords because you have this max, I don't. I have this max, but you don't. It just I've probably had that 700 this. days as well. This one's low as well, so. Mm. Yeah, I've probably had it 700 plus days. Zero races. Zero races, yep, 345. Oh, a year, yeah. Yeah, almost a year. Because, wait, what? Because American Frontier, a year ago, wasn't even released yet at this time, right? It came out like mid-December. Oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's not even been a year of American Frontier. Bro, do you think there's going to be another update this month? What are, what are you thinking, Luke? Um, not sure. Look, with the inside information that I have, which is nothing, I just wanted to get people tense for a second who's <laughs> watching, I don't think there's gonna be another update this year, which is really sad because that means one car update for the entire year of yeah. 2021. I mean, I don't know what their excuses are. It's probably licensing, I guess, but come on, man. I mean, they wanted Toyota. They wanted Toyota badly. But yeah, that's gonna be kind of impossible to achieve, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the one Slow. Which one is a good one? The max. That's been used as well. That was um. What event was that useful for? Um, two thousand six. Quite recent. That could be it. Yeah. I think so because I don't think it, it received any special tags. It has the concept and it has a two thousand six, and there was a tune up for that. So I'm thinking maybe that is. I I love how they normalize tune ups by the way because they are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little challenge, you get a carbon fiber at the end. Yeah, we take those. Ah, the steak, yes, we love steak, yes. How yep. many 60 brilliant, chargers brilliant do you have? Oh, I'm gonna disappoint you with it. Oh, 
Why is it one? Um. Is it zero? I think it's one maxed. Okay, that's, that's alright. It's a good card to have. I mean, like, regardless, it's a good card to have. Yeah. And we have a crap ton of 39s again. I'm, also, I'm actually surprised you only pulled yeah. Ghibli. Ghibli's a great one, too. I've only pulled one. Do you have a favorite rare in here? Hey, you got three? Nah, I ain't disappointed. Yeah. You good? Um, the Escort Rally is probably my favorite. Ooh, ooh, not so versatile. versatile. Seven, one, Just eight, so eight. versatile. Ooh, and they're all the same tune too. None of that weird like six nine yeah. nine 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 six stuff. Huh? I've seen a couple Makes nine it. nine six rally specs. I think it's six point nine like seventy seven or something seventy eight. Yeah. There's there's um, standard tire cars that beat it off road. Like if you t if you drag spec it, there's standard tire cars that'll beat it. Oh yeah, that's true. And this is smart. Having two virages, one nine six nine and one six nine nine, that's smart. I would I would do the same. I mean is I have done the same, so yeah, five six I'm, five four. Got, Ninety MRA, right, this thing? Yeah. yeah. I've got the uh is it D B four? Yeah, I've got the D B four the same as well, I think. Yeah, it's ridiculous. yeah, yeah. Four nine and a five zero. Yeah, mine I only have one of yep. these and I and I have a nine nine six. Like I just kept it nine nine six. I also I even have a nine nine six version of the Bentley Arnage. It's actually four point nine, which is actually like insane. And it's a loon. Oh, yeah. That's not bad too. So yeah, I would probably like get a 996 and 969 version of both these cars. And then oh, moving on. To I am working on it. Do you have a favorite super rare now? Um. Well, the Mirror Roadster is pretty good. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Insane MRA, insane top speed. But hey, instead of like talking about all the favorite stuff, is there what are the super rares in here that you absolutely hate? Because I have super rares that I had to max because I needed it for a challenge. But I hate it. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> the Atlas. What did it need it for though? <laughs> summer game was it summer games? Um No, I got through summer games without it. It was a recent chat it was a recent event. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I've I've gone through without an, an Atlas at all. So it's it weird that the summer games tag is still here. You can't even go into filter and, and search for summer games anymore. Dude, well, I was looking back at like the hands that people used to use. Dude, Winning prize cars back in the day were so easy compared to like now. Like I wish I oh, went hard back then, because it was a lot easier back then. Because now like the average is you know you gotta max your epics and upgrade your legendaries. If you did that back then, that's like a one hundred percent you're gonna win every prize car that came out. I've lost finals with a maxed legendary and, a, and one that's two upgrades away from being maxed. I've never lost finals with a max legendary, but I have lost finals with upgraded legendaries, namely the Jaguar XJ9, like earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah. That one was tough. Now we're entering the bread and butter of every bit of the garage. <coughs> I, I love ultra rares, so you have 213 of them, so let's check it out. Let's see what you got. I love seeing like people that have maxed out ultra rares or cars that I don't have. So for example, the TVR Griffith. Like, why why is this max? Yes. Why did you choose this one? 323 as well. Because it was one of my first GE cars. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the hype train, right? Yeah. Yeah, incredibly and light as well. It's been handy over, like, since I got it. It's been quite useful. I mean, it has a low 0 to 60, and I know the MRA on this is pretty good, but, like, and the handling is just and a bit of an all-rounder. I think it's a good fast circuit car, if anything. It's lightweight as well. Yeah, very lightweight. You could probably put it on like a car park in a slalom. I mean, it's probably still going to lose like in the least, but it probably only lose by 50 or something like that. Yep. Yeah, this is like a daddy oh, Obviously, you've got to have that. Lavorg got to have that. Got to... 66 days. Oh, you haven't touched this. I'm surprised. Yeah, there's a few in here that just not not touched at all. Bro, I maxed this too because I was so bored. I was like, I don't know what else to max. But mine is 233 though. Yeah, I, I maxed that before we knew what what the um, what was best. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. I got a couple of ultras like that as well. Is like it, it's a so lot late, of ultra like that. It's like when you get an ultra rare like from a long time ago that you three two three. It's like oh, it's kind of like useless. I need to get the same one and two two three it again. Yeah. Two K rounds. The Blitzen is sick. I just I I don't know. I I like the states and I love the name Blitzen, so I think it's a sick card. Yes, yeah, nice. pretty awesome. Both stock, stock, stock. Um, I used to have, I think it was five Renault Desires when they were um super rare. Oh, did you fuse them? I've got one now, but well, I sold a lot of them because they 
weren't useful afterwards. See, that's one that's just randomly upgraded. It's probably I was I was using it for challenges and I think just never got around to finish it. That you can finish this exactly, and you'd be left off with like a hundred cash. You want to try? Yeah, go on. If I think that I can get all the upgrades done, and you'd be left with a hundred cash, like around a hundred, like definitely less than a thousand. I'm pretty sure. We're we're cutting it close. Come on. It's not. Come it's on. not gonna do it. Oh no! We're so close. We got <laughs> two eight. We're like, oh, we're eight hundred points <laughs> off, basically. <laughs> Cause you had like you had one upgrade done, and I know it's about twenty k to do all like fifteen upgrades or whatever, like nine. But yeah, one yeah. Left, so we had eight left to pay for it. So I thought with that one we, we would be safe, but I guess not. yeah, yeah. We're one that car is oh, we're literally one upgrade away. That was a I mean it did fix how it's not as sensitive as it was anymore. But anyway, we're back. Oh, it's still it's still annoying. It is still annoying, but definitely less annoying. What's annoying now is the the drop down filter system. How you have to close it manually yeah. to like scroll again. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. This is one of these ultra rares I've been trying to chase forever. I can't seem to get it on my account. I, I think, see, that's a good looking car. I'm sure you can agree with me. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's a brilliant, brilliant car. It's just never, ever going to get used. Mm, true. What year is it even? 85? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll have to max it for the next, um, for the Veneno, but oh, yeah. GDG. I want this one too, bro. Yep, I, I won a recent prize with that. What's the weight in this? Yeah, it's a very lightweight car, 1291 kgs. I won a recent prize with that in my hand. Which one was it? Oh, the Viper! Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, did, was this, I, is this I new won or it was better? 44 days? Yeah, it's new. Yeah. Because yeah. the Viper's over 50 days old, I know that for sure. Which is crazy to think about. Yeah. Oh, that for that forest is overpowered on the um, city streets mall. The 62, uh, 62, right? This one. Yeah. 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 Overpowered on. For some on reason, like high ground clearance is better on city streets. Uh, I can't. I yeah. don't know. My my brain doesn't understand that one. Um, you can go faster over speed bumps for some reason. Ooh, I have this drag spec because like it's like one of the few Subarus with more more MRA than like 60, and like it actually beats max epic Subarus on the drag. Oh, bear that in mind, actually. There was one, there was one, there was this one JPT, I think I posted it in the survey like a long time ago. It was like a JPT saloon event, and like I was racing against the RQ73 Epic Subaru. I don't know what the model is, but it was a one mile drag, and this beat it. So it was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Um, three Lancer Evos. Love to see those David Goliath situations. B4 is cool, but I never got to use it that much. I feel like you haven't, you haven't used it that much either. Oh, actually, you have. 122 is quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, because it was one of the first JP2 cars I got, so it's just been used a lot because of that. I've only ever got one of those. I've only ever got one uh, 037. I only have one. I can't seem to get a second one. And the main problem is, the first time I got the 037 on my account, that was when it didn't have any handling. Remember those days? And like, it had like the yeah. lowest 0 to 60 out of all the real drive off-road cars. So I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense to 322 it. And it did back then, but when it got the handling buff, I was like, oh crap, now you want, this was the car you want a 233 or 323. And like, I don't have yeah. it. And I can't seem to drop a second one and it's killing me. Every time there's it like Italian Dragon City events and clubs, I just cannot do anything because I don't have this the right spec. Well, on the, on like, I think it's karting or indoor karting. It matches the um, it matches the O three O, the above. That thing's crazy, dude. Because they have the same stats, yeah. right? Four zero nine five. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Both the same stats, but one is off road tires, and the other is slick. That 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 just. Why was this for the Yesco? Yes, it was. Ah, three eight ninety two. <laughs> that is tough. I mean, I'm it's glad terrible. You it. It's absolute garbage. It was my throwaway car in the event. Yeah, a two hundred nine days, sixty one percent win ratio with one hundred fifty three races. Yeah, this thing is garbage. I mean, when you think about it, I think the BTR was another car that you could use, right? So, um, we're talking. Yeah, I didn't. Where's the BTR? You've gone past it. I didn't oh, yeah. win the BTR. You didn't have. But one? Did I win? Did I win one? I can't remember if I had one or not. Yeah, three five eight seven to three eight ninety two. I mean, I don't know, yeah. man. Like it's it's three six ninety for a two three three BTR. 
it's it's actually crazy like i think this just has like yeah. what, maybe like two more mra that's why it's an epic but no it doesn't have mra oh it doesn't okay well this is like no. the, the meaning of borderline epic no i mean it doesn't have MRA, I... but like it has two more than the btr i think that's no i think the btr beats it then i don't know what's the point of that being epic though <laughs> The handling, yeah. like that's it, like two more handling. Oh come on, G. Yeah, you and I, we both got this, Max. You maxed this before me as well, because I remember I unpacked this and then you showed it to me, and you said that it was actually not bad, wasn't it? And it beats more than it should. Eighty-four days, one hundred seven, yeah, seventy-seven percent win ratio, ain't too bad at all. And it's pretty lightweight, to be fair, less than one thousand four hundred. This is a really yeah. good one. This is a really good one. When yeah. did you get this? This is a really good one to get. Four eighty, yeah, eighty-one percent win ratio. That's a really good one. I mean, for 66 oh, IQ, some... 33100 is ridiculous. Yeah, there's some crazy, crazy low IQ cars now. Did you get this? I say low. Like... Yep. Uh, lucky. I never three, got it when three, it was an three, Ultra. Three, the, the most annoying thing is three. I got it twice when it was epic, but I never got it as an Ultra, so I'll never have it max, basically. Yes. I just seem to max low IQ. Yeah, yeah, I just like seem to max low up you epic. Is it because of tri series yeah, both... or is it because you like them? Tri series mostly. Mm, fair. Yeah. Fair. GT40 race car. When when was the last time you saw one maxed? Honestly, I don't think I I don't remember. Probably the last time we had like a pre-60s event. I mean pre-70s event, something like that, like a 60s event. That's the only time I see it, it maxed. But not a lot of people definitely. Why did you max it? Was it summer games? Is that why? Sorry, not summer uh, games. I think so. Um, silver screen number one. No, I didn't have it then. Oh, oh, this was the the second time it came out. Yeah. Ah, I got you. I will be getting the um the other prize car ones. GT40 is one of my favorite cars. I gotta say though, this picture is slept on. That's a really nice picture. It actually yeah. fits in. It actually he fits in really well. GT40 is one of my favorite cars, so I have to get all of them and I have to max them all. That's fair, that's fair. And the Indigo, right? We, we know that the Indigo is the one yes. that we want the most, yeah. Definitely. Diaz numero 9, we got 911. Hopefully you did this the right way. Oh, nope, same as me. <laughs> no, but le look at the days on it. Probably like a thousand. Yep, 1,100. Yep. Is that one of your, that's one of your first epics, bro. Yep. Bro, you and I are like, we're like the only two people that, that has this 323. I have this one 323 as well, and so do you. Yep. Oh, this one's done the right I've way. got one three two three and one two three three. There was one tri series hey, where this two eleven supercharger was very useful for. I'm pretty sure if you have two of these, you probably won whatever prize car that was. Uh, G E uh, G B two thousands. Me? No, two thousand and five, two thousand and six to two thousand and ten. I can't remember. It was just. Or well, two thousand and five to two thousand and nine. But yeah, it was it was the one. It was the weird one where they um. Where everyone thought they were going to allow the super light, and then they changed the requirements just so you couldn't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. What a troll. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even surprised, honestly. That's a really old, uh, really old epic. The Griffith is a car that I feel like it's really good, but I don't see used very often because it has like what 100 MRA, right? High top speed, handles pretty well, um, but I just don't see it that often. Oh, lo Loki is brilliant. Wide buddy. Hey. Oh, zero. Oh, yep. yeah, that was you remember the story on that as well. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember the um? Do you remember the center finals? Oh yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Yeah, that that was eleventh place. Very sweet moment, wasn't it? That was that was a tier two. Eleventh. Yeah. Yeah, eleventh eleventh place, and I just said I'm never ever I'm never using it. I'm surprised you haven't fused it away though. I'm not gonna fuse it. Just gonna leave it there. That's yeah you know the yellow bird i feel like it has been useful in a in a lot of situations like enough for me to to you know validify that i should max mine out but i just haven't done it because you know price car yeah like it's in so the amazing. most recent event like it was the what the mountain pass one whatever that was a really good card to use but then i had like the roof oh, Cup sports. i was like what's the point and like everyone else had the volkswagen idr so what was the point i lose by 50 i guess no, yeah. the yellow bird wouldn't even lose by 50 to the IDR. It would lose by like just crazy numbers, honestly. The IDR is ridiculous. That Super Sports is my, lo is my most recent maxed epic. Super Sport, Super Sport. Oh, the Bentley! 
Yeah. Why? Uh, it was needed for a um for an event. Uh, Pops is going to either love or hate you for this three super lights, <laughs> bro. Jeez, this is everybody's like dream. This is every top drives player's yeah. dream. And we're not even talking I've, about the you know, the max legend, but like. Have a have a look at the have a look at the days and the amount of raises on the stock ones. Six hundred and four, two hundred fifty zero. You have not even used this <laughs> one, bro. Bro, I want to flex. Okay, this one, yeah, this is a lot of raises. Two thousand four hundred eighty-seven. Yeah. Bro, imagine having a super light and not even using it. I I, I can't. Oh, it gets worse. That's a ridiculous. It gets worse. What? Yeah. It it gets worse. Oh yeah. Wait wait till you get the banana. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess we need to talk about the first uh, Max Legendary that we yeah. have here, right? Obviously, Luke is an Alpha Romeo collector. So, obviously, like I said at the start of the video, pay attention to his Alpha Romeos. They're really, they're, I think the only Legendary Alpha you don't have Max that you own is the Stelvio, right? Yeah. And you'll Max that in time, I guarantee it, so it's fine. It's gonna, it's... I'm gonna say next Max Legendary, but I know it's not. That was my first epic, first, first maxed epic. That's that's fair, and it went up to legendary as well. I used to have two, yeah. but I fused one. I sold one, which was really dumb, actually. <clears> I was like, "Ooh, free money!" But in hindsight, I feel like I, I could have kept two because that would have helped me a lot in the. I have done that. And also the ninety-five, ninety-seven. So. I did. Yeah, I've sold epics oh, for money bananas, before. Once again, is this is zero races? Yeah, oh my god! Yep. Yep. Two. <laughs> this one's zero races too. Two. Oh my god, yep. And, and the same day as well. How old? They're on the same. Yeah, they pulled on the same day. Oh my god. Or a yeah. day apart. Two, three, eight. Oh jeez. Same pack or what? <laughs> it wasn't the same pack. What's the story behind that? Was it two ceramic packs? Was it a carbon? Was that was that like Black Friday? Or is it Christmas? Something? Uh I can't remember. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't even have a single banana. I have a legit banana costume, but I don't have the banana car. <laughs> GT1 road car. You won this one this year, right? Yeah, 220, okay. Yeah. Yeah, which is, it's, it's, the thing about this car is it's either 220 days old or like 3,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This year has been, for me, this year has been brilliant for prize cars. No, I'm happy. Yeah, you've won some good ones. Here we go, another one. series in general. Yeah. And then we'll see the yes go in a bit as well. 66 days already, which is crazy. 34 races. Slowly maxing my ACRX. Loving that car. This yeah. is a gem to me. I really want the Audi Quattro. Like, that's beautiful. Yeah, there is actually a story behind that as well. Ooh, what's the story? Um, to tell? So, I don't know if uh, don't know if your viewers will be familiar with a channel called Fair Race. No. Um, easy British car YouTuber. Does a lot of racing game content. Um... I help. Well, I sort of collab. Well, teamed up partially with him to get him the um, the Audi Quattro. Oh. It was the first event that it yeah, was the first on, event that I teamed up with with people to get it. Oh, that's cool. I think I think you did tell me this story before. I, I do remember listening to this, like tell, you telling me this. Yeah, that's pretty. Cool. Yes, yeah, yeah. first one. Max McLaren as well. Wait. This is your first max. Is this this is not your first legendary price car, is it? No, no. What was your first legendary price car? Uh, the nine Porsche nine nine oh eight. Which one? The Porsche nine oh eight, I think it was. Nine oh eight. Is it? What well, RQ is that? I don't, I don't remember nine oh eight. Eighty five. Eighty five. Well, eighty seven. Sorry. 87. GT, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Carrera GT, yeah. I was like, nah, I don't know. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I didn't know that. I knew 918. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Carrera GT. Oh, so you did not get this from like the summer games, all that. Yeah, that's an old one. Never mind. No, it's an original one. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, um, that's helped me so much. Why is this two star? Was it because of In the Shadows? Uh, it was the McLaren Senna finals. Oh, okay. We don't talk about that. Uh, Max Porsche Canyon <laughs> though, that's uh... Yep. 2-3-3? Yeah. Really? Yep. It works. Is it better than 3-2-3? I've actually never maxed a legendary all-service tire four-wheel drive. Well, I've never gone up against a, um, a 3-2-3 one. 
That's interesting. Because, like, I know people that even 323, like the Suzuki Pikes Peak, per se, but. Yeah. I don't know. If I had to max my Suzuki Pikes Peak, I might 233 it, honestly. Because I, I use, in all honesty, I use my Pikes Peak more on the dry than off road. So, I might as well 223 yeah. it. But the current's um, an interesting well, one. I maxed that out. And it still loses to a maxed SQ5 on motocross. Okay, the SQ5 is just stupid. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because the it also, SQ5 is lighter. I think that's why. But it also loses to the McCann, which is uh, lower RQ. That is dumb. That is so dumb. I mean, this is the lightest that you can get the Kai into as well, because it's 233. If you 333 yeah. this, this would be like maybe close, very, very close to 2000, if not 2000. So that's crazy. And I think that was more my reasoning behind maxing it that way to get it as light as possible. Yeah. It's actually interesting to see, like a 233, all surface tire, legendary four wheel drive, on the snow, because on the snow, you know weight and handling means everything. So in theory, the Kain should win, but it's very rare to find people with max SUVs, so it's hard to test that. Yeah. Uh, Nissan GTR, you I love this thing. Won me the freaking IE, I have it at two stars. Ridiculous car. I won me the Viper. Yeah, I, I, I want to max mine, honestly. It's a beautiful car, a beautiful picture. I think it'll be like, what, 25, yeah. 100, something like that? That's pretty nice. Uh, 2599, I think. Two, oh, yeah, 99. Wait. Oh, yeah, because it starts at 89 handling, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this has a. Oh, it doesn't even have a handling upgrade. I thought it did. Uh, max Oxia, this is definitely going to help you for the Benino. Yep, that's yeah. been so useful. Ridiculous so useful in just MRI daily events. and. Well. Yeah, it beats them. Um, uh, even in the 80s event, it's been beating so many cars it shouldn't. You think it's the MRA? It has to be the MRA, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yes, uh, 100 and, oh, sorry, it's 112 MRA or something silly like that. Tell you how if it's not in your garage, it's on your wish list. But we have to talk about you know the cream of the crop. This is like, this is the king of your garage, isn't it? The pro car. Yeah. You got a name yeah. for this? No. Oh, okay. Would you give me I the don't name the car. I, I never thought to name them. Jeez, look at that. 1,300 days, 97% win ratio. 304 days. Yeah. Close it two more months to a year. Right, because this is one of the first prize cars of uh, 2021. That's right. It was fe um, end of January or February or like early February 2021. Yeah, somewhere around that. I, I'm, I mean, when we get closer to the end of the year, I'm going to make a video about looking back at every prize car we've gotten. And I think that the pro car still stands among one of the best prize cars we've gotten this year. I would say like the pro car, yeah. the 905, the IDR, the Yesco, like th those are elite tier. It's ridiculous. Oh, there's been some game changing ones. I maxed the pro car a day after I got it as well. I think this should be almost exactly a year. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Five days away, yeah. 360, baby. I remember this one. This was an SUV final. Yeah, I'd say that's where my fortunes changed for for the game. Yeah, you had, uh, you had, no, you didn't have the second one, but you had this one. Bro, yeah, I, I had that one. Had two. Um... <laughs> no, I just did. <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the showcase of Luke's Garage. Luke, do you have anything else you want to add? Um, not really, just, um, yeah, just enjoy the game and play it the way that you want to play it, not the way that people think it should be played. Exactly. Play the way that you want to play. I think that's the most important part. I'm not just going to end up being more stressed and actually enjoying, you know, the entire process of what the game is. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Nice little kickback, you know, chill video looking at, you know, this Alpha Romeo God with his Max Legendaries. We should end off with looking at the Max Legendary, shouldn't we? Uh, legendary status, yeah. fully upgraded. Look at that. And very soon, very soon, the Stelvio should be joining this army. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe. Wash your hands and blossom out. Peace.